I will see the movie based on the fact that I love Jamie Dornan. Ha ha, don't we all? My name is Lizzie and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit of a different one. Um, I'm calling this, or should I say we're calling this, Wishing on a Book. I'm doing a collaboration today with Mandy from Oh It's Mandy. She's a great, great booktuber. I really, really like her. And I have to say a massive thank you to her because she's been so patient with me. I've been moving house, I've been launching an album, I've been like non-stop. And she's been really patient with the fact that I'm really behind with my videos. That aside, uh, we thought we'd make up this little video, wishing on a book. If you want to take part, or if you want to add questions, then let us know in the comments below. And then definitely, yeah, we tag you, or I tag you. I'm speaking for Mandy. I'm sure she tags you as well. Um, but anyway, without further ado, here is my answers to wishing on a book. The book I wish I was a main character in. Oh, well, I think, well, there are many. And I think the obvious one for me to say is uh, Katniss Everdeen from The Hunger Games because she's just, you know, heroic in each and every way. I absolutely just adored her and adored those books. I read them, I've read them about a thousand times. Um, I don't know if The Hunger Games is like a really sort of lame answer because it's, I, you know, it's just so popular. Perhaps it, perhaps it is. But I think, yeah, I think I'm going to say Katniss Everdeen for now. Thinking about it, actually, I think I might, oh God. I don't know what you're going to think of me. I'd love to be Amy from Gone Girl. <laughs> She's so crazy and just like unexpectedly calculated. So, I mean, I don't want to be like that, but I just think maybe I'm thinking about what I would be like if I got to play that kind of character in like a film or something, because obviously I'm a Hollywood actress. Um, yeah, I just, there's something so intricate about her character and so, you know, multi-layered that I just think playing something like that or being somebody like that would just be like, oh my god, imagine spending a week in her shoes, just what your life must have been like. Anyway, yeah, I think for the record, let's say Katniss Everdeen, for off the record, let's say Amy. <laughs> I think, do you know, I think maybe because it's top of mind and I've literally just finished it and I'm about to do a video on the Night Circus, um, I would love to have written that book. It's so clever. I mean, I mentioned in my last video that it's really love-hate. A lot of people haven't liked it, but I mean, you have to concentrate a lot to read it, I think. But yeah, it's so intricate. All the luminaries, I think that again is just like, whoa. And the author is such a young girl. I mean, she wrote it when she was younger, sort of 25 year old. The book I wish that could be made into a film. I think a lot of my answers are actually from recent books I've read. I don't know, I've got memory problems. It's really hard to go back and think about all the books I've read on the spot. Maybe I should start doing a lot of research on my tags and actually, you know, coming up with more interesting answers. Sometimes I feel that my answers aren't interesting enough. Do you ever feel that? Um, okay, no, seriously, Alex Campbell's Land. I read that over Christmas. There was something so film-like about it. I don't know whether it's because, you know, the teenage heroine, you know, fighting against authority, sort of standing her ground, having a bit of a relationship along the way, those kind of things. It seems to have the makings of a film, or definitely one that I could imagine in my head. So I would love to see that one uh, be turned into a film, just because I think it might be really popular. Um, then again, it might not be, based on the fact that we've seen a string of these kind of movies in recent years. But yeah, right now, I, I would love to see some kind of movie adaptation of Land. If you've not read that, by the way, I really recommend it, it's so good talked about it quite a few times. I love it. I'm going to read it again. I've lent it to my sister at the moment actually, um, so I'll have to have to get that back from her. A book that I wish hadn't been made a film. So I have a very sort of love-hate relationship with books versus films. I have a lot of interesting discussions with my friends about it because I, some people are so strict and like, you know, they just shouldn't make books into movies. It's always worse. The movie's always worse than the book. I think that everything stands on its own merit and actually sometimes seeing an interpretation come to life in, in a movie is just, you know, sort of helps you really click into place exactly what happened with it in the book or, or the story. Most of the time I actually approach them on separate kind of things, especially, and I try not to do this, especially if I'm reading, or sorry, if I'm going to the cinema 
before I read the book because I try not to do that but sometimes inevitably it happens and I try and look at them as completely separate things until after I've done them both and then I can be like oh well you know this was great this wasn't this was terrible um so ramble aside the book that I would like to have not been turned into a film and it's not because the film's not very good it's a beautiful film it's the boy with the striped pajamas it just made it all the more real for me and I was actually frozen in my chair with horror and just sadness at the end of the movie. My friend, I went with my friend Emma, this is years ago now, and uh, we both just looked at each other. I couldn't even cry, I was so sort of, I just, oh God, I'll never forget it. I will never forget it. So I think, yeah, Boy With The Striped Pajamas is my first answer, but actually I think Fifty Shades of Grey will be my second. I haven't seen the film. I read the first book. I didn't read the rest. I just didn't think it was great to be honest, and I, I got through the first chapter of the second book and I gave up because I was like, this is just not my cup of tea. Um, and not so much the story and things like that, just the way it was written. I don't know, I'm, I, I'm saying this with trepidation in case everybody loves it, but, or, if, or it just wasn't, no, just, I don't know, I'm not gonna, I don't like discrediting things, but I, I will see the movie based on the fact that I love Jamie Dornan, haha, -ha, don't we all? Yeah, I don't know, I've got this thing about bandwagons, there's just something that makes me feel a bit awkward about going to sit in the cinema with all these like hundreds of other people going at the screen, like just, yeah, so I mean, ask me this again when the movie's out and I maybe will give you another answer, but yeah, I don't know, I'm probably not going to go and see it. Are you going to go and see it? Do you think you will? Uh, my camera just decided to turn off halfway through that. I think I ran out of space on my memory card. I need to do a little bit of deleting. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to wrap up these questions now. Uh, I really enjoyed doing this collaboration with Mandy. Um, I can't wait to see her video. I'm really looking forward to uh, hearing her answers. Do check out her channel. I'll share all the details in the link below. Um, like I said, she's a really great booktuber and I am very excited to have met her. Thank you so much for watching. Happy reading and all that jazz. Let me know what you think of this video and tag and collab because I think it could be cool to add loads more wish questions to it. So maybe there should be a part two. Uh, righty ho. Also, sorry about my really bare background. I'm still sorting out my room. I've got lots of stuff up on this side, but right now I look like I'm in a small mental asylum. So, <laughs> well, I'm not, I promise. Um, Okay, I'm off. I will see you next time and next video coming up is the Night Circus review collaboration. I'll talk to you about that soon. Okay, bye!